Hi students, this is Swarnadipa. This is my third video for chapter number one, number system. So today I am going to explain you the properties of addition. So we have five properties for addition that is closure property, commutative property, associative property, additive identity and additive inverse. So I am going to explain you these uh, properties one by one with a suitable example. Okay, shall we go into our subject children? Now, I am going to explain you closure property. Okay, for explaining closure property, let me explain you one example. Okay, finally we can conclude the property. Now, if A is equal to 2 and B is equal to minus 3, I have taken the value for A as 2 and the value for B as minus 3. So, I am adding A plus B. Okay, what is the value for A? A is 2 and B is minus 3. So, I have written the values for A and B here and I am adding these two numbers. I think you all know about the rule. Am I correct? So, what is the rule now? Addition For addition, if we have same sign, we have to add and if we have different sign, means we have to subtract. Finally, we have to write the greatest number sign. So, here I have two numbers. Both the numbers have different sign. So, what we have to do? We have to subtract. Okay, subtracting 3 and 2, we get 1. Finally, the greatest number. Which is the greatest number here? 3. So, okay. So, the uh, sign for 3 is minus. So, I have written minus for the answer. So, adding A and B, I got the answer as minus 1. So, finally, I am assuming this minus 1 as C. Okay. Now, the rule is, if A and B are integers, then the sum C is also an integer. Okay. So, I have taken A as 2, B as minus 3. And I am adding these two numbers and finding out the answer and assuming that as C. Okay. So, if A and B are integers, then the sum C, that is A plus B. Okay. Wow. Uh, you can either say the sum C is also an integer. Otherwise, you can say if A and B are integers, then A plus B is also an integer. Okay. We can also say like now, this. Commutative property. So, for commutative property also, I have taken A as 2 and B as minus 3. And I found out A plus B. That is the sum of these two numbers. So, A plus B. So, already we know that the value of A is 2 and the value of B is minus 3. We know the rule that if we have same sign, we have to add. If we have different sign, means we have to subtract. And finally, we have to write the greatest number sign. So, here also we have different sign. So, we have to subtract. Subtracting, I got the answer is 1. And the greatest number sign here is minus. So, my answer is minus 1. So, next I found out the value for B plus A. Okay. So, I am changing the order of this addition. Here I have... Uh, added A plus B and here I found out B plus A. I am changing the order. Okay, well, order matu matro. So, B plus A is equal to, I am writing the value for B as minus 3 and the value of A as 2. Okay, now we have to add these two numbers. Now, different sign we have. So, we have to subtract. Subtracting I got the answer as 1. And greatest number sign is minus. So, I have written minus 1. Okay, so I have changed the order of the uh, order of adding two integers. Here I have I found out a plus b, and here I found out b plus a. So order only I have changed. Okay, so the property commutative property says if a and b are integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. So shall we find out whether it is correct or wrong? Okay, so what is the value for a plus b? value of a plus b is minus 1. The value of b plus a is also minus 1. So, we can say that a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, that is our commutative property. Okay, the commutative property says if a and b are integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. Okay, here uh, we prove that a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, we can say that addition of integers satisfies commutative property. Okay. So, uh, what uh, by finalizing these things, we can say that changing the order does not matter. Okay. If while adding, if you are changing the order means there should not, should not be any changes. So, this is our commutative property. So, now associative 
property. Okay. Whenever we have associative property, associative property deals with three integers. Okay. So A, B and C. Okay. Here I have taken A as 2, B as minus 3 and C as minus 5. Okay. So first thing I found out the value for A plus B plus C. Here I have found out the value for A plus B plus C. Here the only difference is the grouping of integers is different. Here I grouped B and C together and here I grouped A and B together. Am I correct? So I grouped the B and C with a bracket and A and B with a bracket. So now I am going to find out the value for A plus B plus C and A plus B plus C. Okay. Shall we do it now? So first thing is I have to substitute the value for A, B and C. I have substituted the value uh, for A as 2, B as minus 3 and C as minus 5. Okay. Uh, you know board mass that we have to solve the bracket first. Am I correct? So first we have to solve inside the bracket. So I solve these two numbers first. So adding minus 3 and minus 5. Both have same sign. So we have to add. Adding I got 8. And the greatest number sign is minus. So minus 8 is my answer for this grouping. Am I correct? So next one. I have written 2 same. Okay. Here the value is finding out the addition of minus 3 and minus 5 is minus 8. Okay. Now we have to add these two numbers together. Okay. Here plus 2 and here minus 8. Both have different sign. So we have to subtract. Subtracting I got the answer as 6. Finally the greatest number sign is minus so what is the answer here? Minus 6. Okay. Shall we solve this side? Right. So A plus B plus C. First thing is I have to substitute the values. For A I have substituted 2. For B minus 3. And for C minus 5. And inside the bracket we have to solve the inside the bracket first. So 2 minus 3 different sign. So we have to subtract. Subtracting I got 1. Greatest number sign is minus. So I wrote minus 1 here. And minus 5 is same. We have to write minus 5 here. Right. So now we have same sign. So we have to add. Adding 1 and 5 I got 6. Greatest number sign is minus. So I got the answer as minus 6. So shall we compare these two now? Okay. So A plus B plus C value is minus 6. And A plus B plus C value is also minus 6. So finally I have written the result as A plus B plus C is equal to a plus B plus C. Okay. Shall we conclude this uh, property now? Yes. If A, uh, B and C are integers. Okay. Associative property says if A, B and C are integers then A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Okay. Regrouping. Right. So this property says that regrouping of integers does not change the value of the Sum. Here we grouped B and C together, but here we grouped A and B together. But the value is same. Okay. The sum value is same for both the sides. Am I correct? So now we can say that associative property satisfies addition of integers. Okay. So the next property is additive identity. So before going into this uh, property, what is mean by identity? Okay. Identity mark. You might have come, acro come across this word identity mark. And you are familiar about identity card, right? So you people will, will be wearing your identity card for uh, school, right? So why we are using that ID card? Let me explain you, okay? That identity card carries your identity, okay? Your name, your uh, class, your section, your address. Right, your father name, everything that is about you will present in that identity card. Okay, that is your adayalam solvam. Right, identity, the Tamil meaning for identity is adayalam. Okay, so additive identity. That means, so if we are adding any number to one number means that identity, the number's identity should not change. So additive identity is zero. Okay, if, I, if we are adding any number to zero, what will be the answer? You are correct. So the same number only. If we are adding any number to 0, we will get the same number only. Am I correct? So if I am adding, here I have added 5 with 0. So what is the value? 5. Minus 2 plus 0. The value is 
minus 2. Here, the identity of that number, if you are adding 0 to any number, the identity of that number should not change. Okay, so that is, that is why additive identity is mentioned as 0. Okay. Now, the last property is additive inverse. So, for any number A, the inverse is minus A. So, for any positive number, we have a negative number as its inverse. For a negative number, that positive number is the inverse for that negative number. Okay. So, here, listen carefully, children. For A, the inverse is minus A. So, for minus A, what is the inverse? Yes, you are correct. Plus A is the inverse. Okay. So, I have given uh, two examples here. So, additive inverse of minus 5 is plus 5. This vice versa. Okay. Vice versa means same. Are they minus 5 would inverse another 5. So, 5 would inverse another minus 5. Okay. Likewise, additive inverse of 2 is minus 2 and additive inverse of minus 2 is 2. Okay. I think you are uh, you clear uh, you are all clearly understood the concept now. So shall we recall the properties now? Okay. So we have seen uh, five properties, right? So closure property, commutative property, associative property, additive identity, and additive inverse, right? So closure property. What clo closure property says? Closure property says if a and b are integers, then a plus b is also an integer, right? Very good, okay? Commutative property. What commutative property says? If a and b are integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, uh, you have to remember that order, okay? You can remember commutative property as order. If we are changing the order means the value will not change. That is commutative property associative property what associative property says it says a b and c are integers then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c here you should remember the word regrouping right i told you these uh, keywords while teaching you these properties right do you remember that so for commutative property you have to uh, remember the word order and for associative property you have to remember the word regrouping right so next one is additive identity so additive identity is zero so you should remember that additive identity is zero okay if you are adding any number with zero the identity of that number does not change next is additive inverse so i told you for any number a Minus A is the inverse. Likewise for minus A, A is the inverse. Right. Uh, do you remember all these things? So addition of integers satisfies commutative property. It satisfies, sorry, uh, closure property. It satisfies commutative property and also it satisfies associative property. Additive identity is 0 and additive inverse of any number A is minus a. So, you can recall all these properties now. Okay. Now, we are going to see one example problem. Okay. Which is based on the properties of addition. Okay. Shall, uh, shall I read out the problem now? This is example 1.9 from page number 9. Okay. 9. Uh, mention the property for the following equations. So, we have to mention the property for the following equations they have given six options in this problem so we have to write the property appropriate property to which these equations belong to shall we try it now yes children so minus 45 plus minus 12 is equal to minus 57 so uh, after seeing this problem itself you can say that this is of the form a plus b is equal to c so what property this belongs to i think you all remember that property Am I correct? Yes. This, this equation belongs to closure property. So, closure property. Okay. Next one. Minus 15 plus 7 is equal to 7 plus minus 15. Okay. So, after while reading out this problem itself, you can say the property of this equation. Okay. Which property this equation belongs to? Can you say the answer now? You are correct. This 
equation belongs to commutative property that is a plus b is equal to b plus a so commutative property okay commutative property so next one minus 10 plus 3 is equal to minus 7 this problem is the same as the first option am i correct so what property it belongs to closure property a plus b is equal to c that is closure property right so fourth one minus 7 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 5 plus minus 7 so this is also the same as the second option so which property it belongs to this is of the form a plus b is equal to b plus a so it belongs to which property you are correct commutative property commutative property right so see the fifth option minus 7 plus minus 4 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 7 plus minus 4 plus minus 3 here after seeing the problem itself you can say here they have regrouped okay i told you to remember that if we have that word regrouping means which property it belongs to it belongs to associative property again if we have three integers means that property belongs to associative property okay keep it in mind children don't forget it if we are having regrouping if they are regrouping the integers means we can say that it is associative property this equation belongs to associative property associative property so the last sum see the last sum 0 plus minus 7245 is equal to minus 7245 so while adding this number with 0 the identity of this number does not change so which property it belongs to i explained you this property right so which property it belongs to you are correct it belongs to Additive identity, right? Additive identity, correct? Okay, so the first problem belongs to closure property. Second one, commutative. Third one, closure. Fourth one, commutative. Fifth one, associative. And the last one is additive identity. Okay, thank you children.